Hello folks and welcome to this channel. My name is Tiago and today I'm going to show you uh, my language uh, my language books. I'm going to start with a similar series and this one is Latin. Okay. And as you can see here, uh, it's written in French. Okay. Asamil is a French company. That's why we've got many books written in French. Okay. So this book is very old. Okay. Uh, today the layout of the book changed a lot. But those ones are very old. As you can see here, this one is from 1969. Okay, in that time they had they had all those those languages here published. Okay, today they've got much more language covered. Okay, uh, right after we have here the introduction, and they give us some reasons why we should learn uh, French or it's Latin. Uh, pourquoi apprendre le latin something? And also, they're gonna give us some guideline how to use this book. Comment apprendre le latin sans pain? Okay, so they're gonna give us some instruction. For instance, they're gonna say that we must speak each sentence out loud. We must uh, repeat. Uh, we must start every day a little bit and so on. And this part here is the alphabet part, okay? L'alphabet latin. And e here you can see uh, you can see the the pronunciation of each letter. And I don't know if you know, but Latin we have two kinds of of pronunciation: the ecclesi ecclesiastical pronunciation and the academic pronunciation. This book here. Uh, follows the academic one, okay? So they're gonna give, they're gonna give us the instructions how to pronounce each word, how the alphabet works, okay? All this part here, and right after we start the lesson number one, we have here le lecture prima. So they're gonna give us the name in Latin of the lesson, uh, and after they're gonna give the pronunciation. It has some comments here and the French translation. Right after we start with uh, line one. Usually this book brings us uh, small sentences. Okay, it covers small sentences, and after they're going to start with bigger sentences. So it's good for people who really don't know anything in that language. You can see, and this book is very good because it always brings us some humor, some funny situations. Uh, now we have we have here the second lesson, and I'm gonna show you something that's really interesting. That in each each phrase of this, sometimes you're gonna find a number like this. Okay, when you see a number in the middle of a sentence, it means that here in the bottom, we're gonna have a note, okay, a comment about, about this sentence, okay? We have here, ego when you, so in ego when you, I know that there is a comment about it. So if you look up here, you're gonna see that it's going to, to say something about the verb when you have to come, okay. So uh, right after, right after each uh, each lesson, you have a uh, exercise. Okay, usually they are translation exercises. So it's very good. You can you can do it writing writing down things, and also you can. You can do it out loud to practice the language. So it's a very nice book okay, for those who want to learn a foreign language. 
and this book has let me show you how many lessons let's go to the end we have a hundred and one okay a hundred and one Let's see if it has more here. I don't guess. I don't think so. No. Just a hundred and one lesson. Okay. As you can see, this is the the last lesson. Okay. Good luck. Don't rush. And after, right in the end, we have grammar. Okay, we have some aspects of grammar here, as you can see. That's a very good book. So, uh, that's Latin. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I have more, more awesome books, and after I'm gonna show you some Hindi. I have Hindi, Japanese, Chinese, uh, French, I have German. So I'm gonna show you guys after. And that's all for today. So, guys. See you next time and don't forget to subscribe if you like those kind of contents. So, see you. Bye-bye.